a 29 IKBS just came in here at Halid Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And look at all the room in this bunkhouse. You're getting this because it has two opposing slides in the living room. Over here we have a kitchen slide, which is what makes this island kitchen possible. That's the IK in the model number. Um, <clears throat> it looks deceptive. I've had people say, well, they put a real small fridge in this. No, they didn't. It's the same refrigerator in every travel trailer, but they mounted it lower. And they did that so that you get this little uh, extra storage pocket up here. Most manufacturers like to kind of play a visual illusion game like Penn and Teller, and they'll mount the refrigerator higher to make it look larger. It's not. Um, you know, I apologize it's a little dark in here. It's very overcast. It's a little bit rainy today, so I don't have all the light in here that I would like. But uh, this is... Uh, the tufted sofa here is one of the indicators that this is a 2014 and a half rather than just a 2014. Um, midway through the model year, Heartland uh, looked at the trail runner and said, you know, we like this. We've always done well with it. Let's take it to the next level. And they gave it a just complete cosmetic overhaul from top to bottom, inside and out. And the end result here is just fantastic. It's just the interior is loaded with warm, rich wood tones. You can see the grain in the wood. Um, almost a cozy log cabin feeling. Cozy is just the best word for it, I think. Um, the exterior you're going to see has a full body paint package that looks like something that came off a toy hauler, except you don't have to pay seven thousand extra dollars for it. Um, this has a double over double bunk setup. Uh, a lot of floor plans that have this island kitchen are these big triple slide monsters that. Uh, cost a ton and weigh a bunch and this is not the case. This is still comfortably half ton towable on account of the fact that uh, it has that compact rear bunk design. It's uh, but I mean look at the appointments in here. Look at these nice things. We have uh, you know central air and central heat not standard in this price point by any means. Uh, there's there's a lot of real good things going on in here. <clears throat> uh, the stereo down here we've upgraded to a, a full DVD player as well. Um, instead of just a plain CD stereo like a lot of things have in this price point. You notice uh, in this price point a lot of manufacturers are starting to go to just an overhead shelf above the bed rather than uh, drawers. You know you need every ounce of storage space you can get in these things. You know your, uh, your bedside stands over here are extremely large on these and you have power outlets located right below the windows. The glare from the windows probably preventing you from seeing that. Let's step outside real quick so you can take a look at the whole thing. It is raining, so I need my trusty spring-loaded umbrella. Alakazam! <laughs> Sorry, I like to have a little fun. Sorry for the bounciness stepping out of there. Here's a good look at uh, the uh, the front view of the grill. And was I was I right about that paint job, or was I right? These things look fantastic. Um, now you notice when we upgraded to the power awning, they also color keyed that uh, to black to match everything else. Match the trim, match the diamond plate up front. Uh, they just have a real gorgeous, high contrast, cohesive look. Um, it's not the same white trailer that you see everywhere. I mean, by contrast, you know, here, here's a generic white trailer, nothing wrong with that. And then look at this color package on here. You know, it really stands out when you put it next to A and B. Um, I've gone through a couple parks where uh, we've sold some trailers that, uh, you know, have these color packages on them. And, uh, you know, you come over a hill and, bam, it just really sticks right out at you. Um, now, it's raining and I only have one hand, so I can't pull it out right now. I apologize. But we did upgrade to the full slide-out rear bumper on this. So that bumper pulls out to form a cargo tray, a bike rack. Um, it's also your spare tire holder, which is nice. You don't have to remove the spare tire to use any of the extra functions of it. And that's something that you have to get put on there from the factory. It, you cannot get that aftermarket. It has to change the way the frame is built to make that happen. So uh, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We have financing, parts, service. We can handle installs of anything and everything. And we take just about everything on trade. So give us a call and we will put a sweetheart of a deal together for you. Thanks guys and happy camping.